Now, on Good Morning Northwest, the FBI started tracking a Coeur d'Alene High School student. A year later, agents arrest him before they say he could carry out terror attacks. What we learned in court about the investigation and the school district's role. And we've got some clouds moving in this morning. I'll show you when you could run into some showers in your first alert forecast. Powerful opening statements in the Capitol murder case against a doomsday cult leader who Chad Daybell's defense says is actually responsible for killing two children. You're watching Good Morning Northwest on 4 News Now. Thanks so much for starting your day with us. I'm Natalie Grant. And I'm Robin Nance. It is Thursday, April 11th. Meteorologist Matt Gray is filling in for Mark Peterson this morning. He's here with our first alert forecast. And we are off to a beautiful start to our Thursday morning. The sun's coming up. We're at 40 in Spokane. Coeur d'Alene cooled out quite a bit, but a little less cloud covered this morning, as you can kind of see uh, in the background here as we look at the I-90 interchange with 95. 31 degrees in parts of Kootenai County right now. Now, it'll warm up very quickly, though. As we head into the middle of the day, we'll be in the upper 40s and low 50s. We should pop up into the 60s briefly there during the afternoon. And we'll also see some of the clouds that we're already seeing this morning gradually thick it up. And we'll turn into an overcast day after a little bit more uh, muted sunshine through the morning hours. And all of this because there's another storm system that's trying to push its way into the, into the Pacific Northwest right now you can look over to the west side cloudy skies some rain expected there later today meanwhile here on the other side of the cascades things are looking a whole lot nicer but we will have a chance for some showers heading into tonight and for friday before some beautiful weather this weekend that we'll talk about more coming up an 18-year-old Coeur d'Alene man accused of pledging his allegiance to ISIS and attempting to provide resources to the terrorist group has pleaded not guilty. In his first court appearance, we learned the FBI investigated Alexander Mercurio for more than a year before his arrest. According to an affidavit, when Mercurio was 17, agents began monitoring conversations they say he was having on a school-issued laptop. Coeur d'Alene Public Schools confirmed with 4 News Now, Mercurio was an online student at Lake City High School at the time and was issued a Chromebook. The affidavit states the FBI found files confirming Mercurio's commitment to ISIS and its ideology. The Coeur d'Alene School District told 4 News Now it was aware of the investigation and in an email the district says, quote, in late 2022-23, the FBI asked the district for information related to Mr. Mercurio's online activity. The district cooperated fully with the FBI as they conducted their investigation. FBI agents arrested Mercurio Saturday, the day before they say he planned to brutally attack local churches in Coeur d'Alene. His trial scheduled for May 28th. The trial for Chad Daybell, the alleged doomsday cult leader, is now underway in Boise. Daybell is accused of murdering his ex-wife and two of his second wife's children. In opening statements, prosecutors claim the murders were fueled by sex, money, and powder. Power. Let's get over to Sidney Charles at the Breaking Now desk with the latest details. Today, the triple murder trial of Chad Daybell continues in Idaho. Now, yesterday in court, prosecutors claim Daybell did not let anything stand in his way. And this morning, we're also learning more about Daybell's religious beliefs. Daybell is accused of murdering his first wife, Tammy, in 2019. He's also charged in the deaths of 16-year-old Tylee Ryan and 7-year-old J.J. Vallow, the children of Lori Vallow Daybell, who he married less than three weeks after his first wife's death. Chad Daybell wrote several books about doomsday events. He met uh, Lori Vallow Daybell at a religious conference in 2018. Prosecutors say the two began sharing apocalyptic beliefs and labeled anyone who stood in their way as dark spirits or zombies. This narrative gave them the pretext to remove people from this world for their own good. Daybell has pleaded not guilty. His attorney insists there's no way to determine how his first wife died and claims Valo Daybell manipulated him into having an extramarital affair. Lori Valo comes up and she starts giving him a lot of attention and she pursued him and she encouraged him. The defense argues it was Valo Daybell's brother, Alex Cox, who killed the two children. Cox died in 2019. Daybell's trial is expected to last nine weeks, and prosecutors want the death penalty. Valo Daybell is already serving life in prison for killing her kids and conspiring to kill Tammy Daybell. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now.
Sydney, thanks. The judge presiding over the University of Idaho murders case has decided not to make any rulings at yesterday's hearing. That means there is no decision on the possible change of venue or whether a phone survey conducted by the defense was acceptable. Koberger's defense team ordered a phone survey of 400 people in Lataw County, arguing it's necessary to find out the possibility of an impartial jury in Lataw County or if the trial needs to be moved. But the prosecutor argued the questions in the survey could make it difficult to find an impartial jury in the county, saying the surveyors could give people information about the case they previously didn't know. The doctor who conducted the survey took the stand and explained the methodology of the survey and how it helps determine if, determine if unbiased jurors can be found. Now, Judge John Judge said he needs time to consider whether the survey violated the gag order in this case. He'll hear the motion to change the venue on June 27th. New details this morning about a North Idaho surgeon accused of recording his employees in a staff bathroom without their knowledge. He's accused of recording people in his home as well, including nine children who had no idea they were being recorded. Dr. Spencer Greendike faces eight felony charges of video voyeurism and sexual exploitation of a child. Prosecutors say he recorded in the bathroom at his practice and also mentioned they have evidence from his Post Falls home as well. Now, several of those employees and their families are suing Green Dyke, saying he caused them irreparable emotional and financial harm. The civil lawsuit mentions the recording at Green Dyke's practice. A sign on the door says it is closed due to an emergency. The lawsuit says the recording started in 2005 and says employees and their families also visited Green Dyke's home where they and their children were recorded in areas that should have been private. The lawsuit alleges Green Dyke did this for his own sexual gratification. A Green Dyke is in the Kootenai County Jail. His attorney told a judge this week Green Dyke's only asset is his three and a half million dollar home and he can't post his one and a half million dollar bond and still pay his employees and his defense team. Now, we will continue following new developments in this story. You can read our coverage in more detail on KXLY.com. People cleaning out the home of their deceased relative found a live grenade. It happened at a home on Cedar Ridge Road in Kendrick, Idaho yesterday afternoon. The Laytown County Sheriff's Office called out the Spokane Explosive Disposal Unit to safely get rid of that grenade. Scary situation. Mm -hmm. Glad everyone's okay. Yeah. Your good morning, Northwest time is 6.07. Matt Gray filling in for Mark Peterson today. Not a bad day at all. Not a bad day at all. You definitely will be able to put away the sunglasses this afternoon, mm -hmm. but our temperatures are still going to be just at the same point or if not a little warmer than they were yesterday and that warming trend continues into the weekend, which we'll show you in my forecast coming up. I'm at the Kootenai County Fairgrounds surrounded by the best deals on items of all kinds for your kids. I'm sharing how you can get in on all of the savings coming up on Good Morning Northwest. Two girls stabbed a classmate repeatedly 10 years ago, trying to appease the fictional character, the Slender Man. Now one of them wants out of a mental institution. Up next, why a psychologist said she should not get out. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. We're the easiest way to shop for floors. And going on now is our Carpet One Teal Tag Sale, where you can save up to $1,000 on new floors. Special financing is available. Panhandle Carpet One Floor and Home, West Appleway Avenue. Did you know that Spokane Hyperbaric Center uses oxygen to reduce pain, inflammation, and swelling? I didn't know that. Did you know that hyperbaric oxygen therapy promotes new blood vessel growth, fights infection, and releases more stem cells from your bone marrow? I didn't know that. Would you like to know if Spokane Hyperbaric Center is the right choice for you? Go to hyperbarichope.com to find out. Spokane Hyperbaric Center gave us hope. And, and now you know. The average family throws out $1,500 of food every year. That's a lot. Imagine what you could do with extra cash. There are simple ways to reduce your food waste and increase your savings. It starts with a plan and ends with a little creativity. Like turning your unused food into something new. Get tips to reduce food waste and make your dollar go further. Know the cost. Use food well. Visit the website to learn how. 
Hello, I'm Mark Peterson. It's that time of year again when Washington Trust Bank helps you dispose of your sensitive documents and protect your identity with four easy steps. First, drive to one of their six participating drive through locations. Second, fill your seal and shred bag with the documents that you want to destroy. Third, secure the seal and shred bag. Then drop off your bag at DeVries where they will destroy your documents in their secure space. Shred Day is Friday, April 19th. Pick up your shred and seal bag at one of their six locations while supplies last. At Just Between Friends, you'll find everything you need for your family. It's all here. I've been shopping in JBF since my kids were little, and we just love it. It's the one-stop shop for everything that you need for your kids and your grandkids. And I'm a first-time mom. I got a lot of clothing, shoes. I got a changing table. It's been a lot of fun such a blessing to be able to shop, sell, and save at JBS. This has been a game changer for our family. Just between friends at the Kootenai County Fairgrounds this weekend. We're the easiest way to shop for floors, and going on now is our Carpet One Teal Tag Sale, where you can save up to $1,000 on new floors. Special financing is available. Panhandle Carpet One Floor and Home, West Appleway Avenue. Save your green! It is 6-11. Here's a look at what's new on Good Morning Northwest. A Wisconsin woman convicted of stabbing a classmate nearly 10 years ago appeared in court to see if she could be released from a mental institution. Morgan Geyser was 12 years old when she and another girl committed a, the crime to appease the fictional character Slender Man. Geyser, who's now 21, wants to be granted a conditional release. A psychologist argued in court yesterday she believes Geyser is still a risk to herself and others. The hearing continues this morning. The Biden administration is a step closer to eliminating the so-called gun show loophole. It's finalized a rule requiring people who sell firearms online and at gun shows to conduct a background check on potential buyers. By increasing the requirements needed to obtain a federal firearms license, the White House hopes to better regulate the market. The new rule is being finalized just days before the 25-year anniversary of the Columbine High School shooting. In northwestern Utah, authorities in Box Elder County have found the remains that could be those of Dylan Rounds. Rounds from Idaho was 19 years old when he disappeared nearly two years ago. The man accused of his murder, 60-year-old James Brenner, has been in police custody since the summer of 2022. Dylan's mother says Brenner gave up Dylan's location as part of a plea deal. And coming up in your forecast, we've got some building clouds today that will lead to some isolated showers this evening and for your Friday. But all that pales in comparison to what's coming with a much nicer weekend. Spokane's dog parks could soon be getting some upgrades. The High Bridge Dog Park near South Government Way in West Spokane has recently become known for illegal garbage dumping and drug activities. The Spokane Parks Department says it's time for a change. Dog owner Christy Schooler says she takes her dog to the High Bridge Dog Park every day. She says she feels unsafe sometimes, especially when it's dark. I feel really uncomfortable because I may just be the only one here there's other openings up uh, uh, on the top, so there might be people here that I don't know. The City Parks Department says safety is a top priority. It wants to improve outdoor lighting, tree pruning, and parking lots. The construction will start this summer and end in the fall. If you want more information about that project, you can join an open house this evening, 615 at the Central Library. Good morning, Northwest. Time is now 613. A potential win for gun rights advocates. Coming up a little later on Good Morning Northwest, what a Western Washington judge decided about high capacity magazines. And right after this break, we'll check in with Allison Martinez sharing the big deals that families can score at the Kootenai County Fairgrounds this weekend. Catch all the action at Caesar Sportsbook, located inside Spokane Tribe Resort and Casino, the area's largest sportsbook. Bet your favorite games live as they happen with in-play betting, or place bets ahead of time with the Bet Ahead feature, only at Spokane Tribe Resort and Casino. You just win here. We're going to level with you. We had a bit of an incident here at the store, and now we're in the process of some repairs. And while we rebuild, we thought we'd have a construction sale, and I think we're nailing it. We've lowered prices on all our inventory, including our best sellers in dining room, living room, and bedroom. Looking for a new recliner or sectional? You know we always guarantee the lowest Lazy Boy prices. We aren't screwing around with this sale, and you don't want to miss it. Kerner Furniture's construction sale is going on now. Kerner Furniture, nice store, low prices. 
Fairway Floor Abbey Carpet in Post Falls has been North Idaho's premier flooring shop for over 30 years. From remodels to new construction, they've got your home or business covered from wall to wall. Their expert design team will work with you to find the perfect floor for your lifestyle and budget. They've got the lowest prices. From carpet and area rugs to hardwood, LVP and laminate, if you can dream it, they can floor it. Dream it. Design it. Live it. At Fairway Floor Abbey Carpet in Post Falls. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Who am I? I can't believe I have no lines in my face. <laughs> it's a facelift in a jar. Hi, I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Plexiderm. We've created the best offer yet with our Plexiderm 10-Minute Challenge. All it takes is 10 minutes to reduce the appearance of under-eye bags, wrinkles, and crow's feet. So if under-eye bags and wrinkles make you look tired and older, try it today for only $14.95, plus get free shipping. How does free college or training sound? It's possible. Washington College Grant gives eligible people money for certificate programs, job training, apprenticeships, or college. Learn more at wagrant.org. That's wagrant.org. I'm a little over my head here. We can certainly take care of that for you. When you're looking for a company that's noteworthy, look no further. Call your friends at Mainstream Electric Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing and spend your time doing more important things. A spring tradition returns April 12th, 13th, and 14th. Bigger than ever with over 400 vehicles. Four celebrities all indoors at the fairground. SpokaneSpeedandCustomShow.com and Facebook for more information. Catch all the action at Caesar Sportsbook, located inside Spokane Tribe Resort and Casino, the area's largest sportsbook. Bet your favorite games live as they happen with in-play betting or place bets ahead of time with the Bet Ahead feature. Only at Spokane Tribe Resort and Casino. You just win here. 4 News Now is brought to you by Sandpoint Furniture Carpet One. Livestream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. It's now 617. Kids grow up quickly and keeping up with that growth can be expensive. Just Between Friends consignment sale offers a low-cost solution. The sales include gently used and brand new clothes, shoes, and toys, and more all in one place. Our Allison Martinez is joining us live to share how you can um, navigate those deals this weekend at the sale. Good morning, Allison. Good morning. It's a mother's paradise in here. We've got items of all sorts right here. An American Girl doll. This is one of my favorites growing up. And as an adult, I recognize that they're very expensive. So definitely come here and get a deal on these. And they look brand new in the box and everything. I'm joined by Tiana, who is the owner of Just Between Friends. And behind you, we've got even more essential items. We've got a pack and play. I'd like to think that my baby would be stylishly rocking this swing right here. Here. We've got so much to choose from here. Now, tell me a little bit about just the variety of the products. There's so much more that the camera's not picking up on right now. Yeah, you'll find anything that you need for your family, um, from infant through uh, tween and maternity items. Um, we have baby gear, strollers, swings, pack and plays, bassinets, out, lots of outdoor toys. It's all here. Yeah, and kind of the cool thing that we've been talking about this morning is it's all local. They're the items that were donated by local families, so you get to support them by purchasing items here as well. Yeah, so all of our consigners are local families, and they get a percentage of the sales. They price their items, they prep it, they bring it down to the drop-off times, and then we sell it for them. Yeah. And you've been doing this for so many years. What's your favorite part about it all? Um, my favorite part is just how excited people get to get the deals, how happy people are to save money. Um, I really love it. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us. All the excitement kicks off tomorrow to the general public. Admission is just $3. Make sure you bring cash. Back to you guys in the studio. Allison, thanks so much. Mm -hmm. So many things there. Wow, so many deals to be had. Hey, here is your live look this morning over downtown Spokane. It's Thursday, 
there's some clouds out there. There is some clouds out there already as you look the opposite direction for the rising sun. It's kind of a kind of a featureless sky a little bit this morning, uh -huh. right? And so mm -hmm. that's that high cirrus coming in and we will gradually see the clouds thicken up and it become more and more overcast as the day goes on. So hey, enjoy the sunshine while we've got it with us here this morning. It's 40 degrees. Sunrise was at 6.07 this morning. Oh, it's a perfect time of year to be getting up early with us because we're going to see over the next month or so, uh, almost uh, an hour earlier, we'll have that sunrise. So spring, wonderful time of year. We get to soak up that morning sun, including out at the bus stop here where... We will see the cloud cover begin to kind of uh, make its presence felt as we get later into the morning. Temperatures will be in the 40s for the rest of your early to mid morning hours. And for the afternoon, expect temperatures in the low 60s and for it to be well, a little bit more overcast out there. But it is going to be dry for the vast, vast majority of us. We will see some showers in the North Cascades and potentially into the Met Howe Valley here by the time we get to about one or two in the afternoon. But things are pretty quiet until we get into the evening around the Waterfield Plateau and into Okanagan County. We'll start to see some showers. We'll also see some wet weather begin to try and move up uh, from across the Blue Mountains into the Palouse, into the LC Valley. Could even hear a few rumbles of thunder as we head into Thursday night. So basically anywhere south of Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, I would be looking for a little bit of rain tonight and the potential for some as we're getting up on Friday morning as well. Now things clear out by Friday afternoon and we are getting set for an awesome weekend. Temperatures will be in the 70s. Not for long though, so enjoy it while it's here. By the time we get to the work week, we are back down to the 50s. Timing is everything there. <laughs> I think yeah. it will be enjoyed. Oh, I'm sorry, I got so excited, I'm coughing. <laughs> <laughs> Go get some water. It's, it's, it's going to be great. 621. We are two weeks away now from the NFL draft, and there are a few Washington State Cougars hoping to hear their name called. But the big question is when we'll have those draft predictions coming up next in Morning Sports. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Life can be hard. With Culligan, your water doesn't have to be. Join STCU Best of Broadway for classic comedies, family favorites, and blockbuster hits. Live at First Interstate Center for the Arts. Season tickets include Stephen Sondheim's smash hit musical comedy, Company. Funny Girl, the hit Broadway show with one of the greatest musical scores of all time. Hilarious fan favorite, Beetlejuice. Feel Good Celebration, Mamma Mia. And the multi-Tony award-winning new musical, MJ. Order season tickets to reserve your seats now at broadwayspokane.com. With local utility rebates and massive tax credits available, it's now possible to upgrade to a heat pump for less than a traditional air conditioner. Heat pumps are far more efficient than air conditioners when it comes to heating and cooling your home. Get year-round comfort with higher efficiency, all while lowering your monthly utility bills. So don't be fooled into buying outdated air conditioning technology. Upgrade to a heat pump. The smart choice for smart homeowners. Call Bills Heating and AC today for your free estimate. I'm Mark Peterson with the 4 News Now Extreme Team. Are you planning a home or a building remodel or repair project? Asbestos fibers may be present in roofing, insulation, flooring, ceiling textures, siding, and many other products. Whether you're a do-it-yourselfer or hiring a contractor, all parties are responsible for following the requirements. Prior to work, a survey must be done to see if asbestos is present. If it is, it must be left alone or properly removed and disposed of. Contact Spokane Clean Air for more information. 4 News Now anchors, not just in the newsroom, but in the community, doing the work, listening to you, asking questions to help keep your family safe. We're the people you trust on your screens and in your neighborhood. We'll always be there on 4 News Now. The Tire Store for auto repairs, tires, and wheels. At the Tire Store, they'll let you split up your repair bill over a couple months. Get your car fixed today. ASC certified, and you can start an account with no credit check. Tire Store. Welcome into Morning Sports. I'm Julian Minenso.
The NFL draft is two weeks away, and a number of Washington State Cougars are looking to hear their name called. Safety Jaden Hicks is projected to be taken on one of those first few days. Some mock drafts have Hicks going as high as the third round, and for good reason. He was second on the team in tackles this season and led the Cougars with a pair of interceptions. In just two seasons in Pullman, Hicks recorded 155 tackles. When scouts came to Washington State football games, more likely than not, they were looking at Hicks. Look for him on day two of the draft. Another defensive back, Shaw Smith-Wade, is a projected fifth-round pick by some mock drafts. Smith-Wade was a definition of a ball hawk. He had 21 pass deflections over his four seasons at WSU. Defensive end Brennan Jackson is also a projected fifth round pick. He is one of the most decorated players at his position in Washington State history. Jackson scored three touchdowns on four fumble recoveries in his final season at WSU. He had 20 sacks by the end of his career in Pullman. Now the Seattle Seahawks have seven picks this year, including the 16th overall pick. And this is a deep draft for quarterbacks, and we'll see if Seattle takes a young QB to pair with veteran Geno Smith. Former Washington Huskies coach Ryan Grubb is the Seahawks' new offensive coordinator. So maybe there's a reunion in the works with Huskies quarterback Michael Penix Jr., who is also a projected first-round draft pick. The NFL draft is set for April 25th, and you can watch it right here on KXLY. The Seattle Mariners snapped the three-game losing streak with a 6-1 win over the Toronto Blue Jays in extra innings. Cal Raleigh hit the go-ahead two-run home run in the top of the 10th inning to secure the victory for Seattle. Now the Mariners will host the Chicago Cubs for a three-game series starting tomorrow. And that'll wrap us up for Morning Sports. Finally got a win. Oh, come on, Ems. It is now 626. Adults usually know what to do in case of a fire, but how about your kids? How a local fire department is making sure everyone knows what to do in case of an emergency. Plus, Arizona in the process of enforcing one of the oldest and strictest abortion laws in the country. Sydney Charles is breaking down how some lawmakers are working to repeal it. And as we send you off to a break, here's your first look at what's coming up on Good Morning America at 7. In this morning's GMA First Look, Costco Gold Rush. My mind would blown when we saw what the price was set at. With the price of gold on the rise, Costco customers turning to gold bars for investment. We bought that bar for $2,069.99. And the end of day spot for gold that day was $2,072.04. So we really paid only about $3 over spot. Experts saying gold usually increases in value over time. The idea is that holding on to gold will increase in value. Based on the last couple of years, gold has been on a tear and has been increasing tenfold. And coming up at 7 a.m., we'll have much more on the gold bar frenzy and what you need to know before you buy and what happens when you want to sell. With your GMA First Look, I'm Rhiannon Alley, ABC News, New York. There it is. That feeling you get when you can do more with less asthma. It starts with Dupixent. Dupixent is not for sudden breathing problems. It's an add-on treatment for specific types of moderate to severe asthma and can help improve lung function for better breathing in as little as two weeks. Dupixent helps prevent asthma attacks and can even reduce or eliminate oral steroids. Can you picture it? Dupixit can cause allergic reactions that can be severe. Get help right away if you have rash, chest pain, worsening shortness of breath, tingling, or numbness in your limbs. Tell your doctor about newer worsening joint aches and pain or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines, including steroids, without talking to your doctor. Who knows what you can do when you do more with less asthma? Ask your doctor about Dupixit, the most prescribed biologic for asthma. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Kerner Furniture. You work hard for your money, and now you can get money back on state taxes you already paid. With the Washington State Working Families Tax Credit. Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. 
Considering selling your RV? R&R wants it. Tired of paying storage fees? R&R needs it. Just don't use it anymore? R&R will buy it. Due to a critical shortage of pre-owned RVs, R&R RV is currently paying our absolute top dollar for your used RV. Any year, any make, any model, turn your RV into cash or flip it for a newer model. So if you no longer use it or want it, let R&R RV buy it. Visit the R&R RV Superstore in Liberty Lake or call Keith at 509-499-2601. Being a Reardon bus driver is incredibly rewarding. It's hard work with a lot of responsibility. But it's also amazing to be the first and last Reardon staff member that many students see every day. If you're seeking a supportive team, competitive wages, and the opportunity to make a lasting impact, look no further than Reardon, where every student is known, loved, and learning. now there's just so much happening in our world and so much happening right here in the northwest making sense of it all that's not always so easy and that's where we come in good morning northwest and good morning america we're right here and we got you we got you northwest from four news now this is good morning northwest we start this half hour of Good Morning Northwest with a 4 News Now story tracker. President Joe Biden will host the first ever leaders summit between the U.S., Japan and the Philippines. That's happening today. It's the latest attempt to draw Pacific allies closer as the region grapples with issues like China's aggression and North Korea's nuclear weapons ambitions. Biden's meetings with Japanese and Philippine leaders are expected to produce announcements on infrastructure, digital connectivity, and energy and maritime security. In Northeast Spokane, construction starts back up next week on the North Spokane Corridor. Starting on Monday, Euclid Avenue between Ralph and Market Streets will close while crews rebuild the road under a new section of the freeway. That closure will last through May. Drivers will be detoured north to the Wellesley Underpass. And it's time to get your tickets to the best of Broadway in Spokane. Sales for the 2024-25 season go live this morning at 10 o'clock. The season ticket package includes five shows. Company, Funny Girl, Beetlejuice, Mamma Mia, and MJ. There are also eight additional special engagements, including the smash hit Hamilton, which is returning to Spokane for an extended run next April. Season ticket holders will get exclusive first access to buy those this morning as an add-on to the five show season ticket package. General sales for other special engagements and the shows in the season ticket package begin in July. There are some great shows additionally coming as well. I'm so excited. I got Hamilton music stuck in my head now. Oh, it's not a bad thing. So excited. Good morning, <laughs> Northwest. I'm Robin Nance. And I'm Natalie Grant. It is Thursday, April 11th. Let's check in with Matt Gray, who's in for Mark this morning, for a look at our first alert forecast. Good morning, Matt. All right. Good morning. And it is a beautiful start to the day. We've got a little sun out there, but the clouds are moving in fairly quickly, and we will become overcast as the day goes on. We've got another weather system headed our direction. It's going to bring rain west of the Cascade. However, it's going to take a little bit longer for any possibility of wet weather to show up in the inland northwest. And that means that you can, well, dress with confidence and not have to worry too much about rain gear for today. We will have those clouds continue to push over. And so you only need your sunglasses for the first half of the day. Otherwise, temperatures very similar to where they've been lately, which has been extremely comfortable, especially when we've gotten into the afternoon with our highs comfortably in the 60s for the second half of of the day. Now you'll definitely need a little bit of a light jacket in North Idaho this morning as temperatures have dropped to around freezing in many areas, including Coeur d'Alene and in the Sandpoint area, but you'll be able to ditch those, I think pretty darn quickly. Now there is going to be a chance of showers tonight and for Friday, but I tell you what, this weekend forecast is looking spectacular. All that coming up in a few minutes. And at the breaking now desk, right now, Arizona is on its way to enforcing one of the strictest abortion bans in the country. The Civil War era law criminalizes all abortions except to save the mother's life. And today we're learning more about efforts made in the state legislative chambers to repel that, to repeal rather the ban. The 1864 abortion ban revived this week by the state Supreme Court. The ruling suggests doctors can be prosecuted for performing the procedure. The law carries a sentence of two to five years in prison for doctors or anyone else who assists in an abortion. Just yesterday, the Republican-controlled chamber blocked Democratic efforts to repeal the law, saying it needs more time. And this is what it sounded like on the Arizona state floor. Shame on you! 
Meanwhile, abortion rights is a high-stakes issue in the race for the White House. Former President Donald Trump says he's proud of appointing three Supreme Court justices who helped overturn Roe v. Wade, but that abortion should be left up to the states. However, on Arizona, he says they went too far. They did, and that'll be straightened out, and uh, as you know, it's all about states' rights. On the campaign trail this year, Trump has made it clear his stance is rooted in politics. Abortion rights has won in all six states where it has been on the ballot. President Joe Biden is calling the Arizona ruling extreme and dangerous. The Arizona law isn't set to go into effect for several weeks, and the delay in enforcement is due to legal challenges. Meanwhile, Vice President Kamala Harris is scheduled to visit Arizona tomorrow to keep a spotlight on reproductive rights. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now. Sydney, thanks. Breaking news out of Iran this morning. Concerns are growing about Iran launching an attack on Israel. Recently, an airstrike at the Iranian consulate in Syria killed two Iranian generals. Israel has not admitted responsibility, but Pentagon officials say Israel was behind the strike. Israel's defense minister is now threatening a powerful response if Iran launches an attack. President Biden yesterday reiterated U.S.'s support for Israel. As I told Prime Minister Netanyahu, our commitment to Israel's security against these threats from Iran and its proxies is ironclad. Let me say it again, ironclad. The show of support comes despite Biden recently calling Prime Minister Netanyahu's war strategy in Gaza a mistake. An Israeli airstrike yesterday killed three sons of a Hamas political leader, and negotiations for a ceasefire deal may have hit another snag. Hamas now says it does not have enough hostages in custody to meet the terms of the proposed deal, raising concerns that more of those hostages may no longer be alive. New legislation proposed by Representative Kathy McMorris-Rogers aims to provide solutions to protect kids online and ensure Americans' data privacy. The 5th District Congresswoman, along with Representative Frank Pallone Jr. of New Jersey, announced a hearing next Wednesday to discuss their plan to revamp online regulations. One proposal gaining attention is our in our community is COSA, which stands for Kids Online Safety Act. It recommends regulations to keep kids 13 and younger from being targeted online, something Chantel Liskey of Namie Spokane says could be a positive change. While the internet has done incredible things to connect us across great distances and in our busy lives, an increasing body of evidence shows that many online platforms, particularly social media platforms, are being designed, programmed, and operated in ways that intentionally target our youth. Several city leaders are calling on McMorris Rogers to make COSA an individual initiative not wrapped up in other legislation. They say that would allow COSA to become law faster and increase the impact. Well, you may know what to do in the case of an emergency, but does your child? Safety measures like knowing how to escape in case of a fire could mean life or death. And that's why the Spokane Fire Department visited Finch Elementary, teaching kids what to do in case of an emergency. And they did it inside of the brand new fire safety house. Now, the house has been around since the 90s, giving kids real life experiences escaping dangerous fire situations. But it was in dire need of an upgrade. And this year, it got one. We transition from a landline inside of the home for a 911 phone call to cell phones, which is more real life to what children are using in their home environments now. Now, other upgrades include a bigger space with more room to teach about fire dangers and how to escape dangerous situations. If this is something you and your family are interested in, you have time to get your kids this hands-on training. This mobile home will be going to all Spokane Public Schools over the next two years. Some good tools in there for mm -hmm. sure. Yep. Your Good Morning Northwest time is 6.38. Matt Gray in for Mark this morning and we are looking at today's planner. Yeah, that's right. And you can plan on skies turning cloudy and you don't have to plan on much if any wet weather. We're going to be waiting until late tonight to have that chance for some rain and then a little chance heading into your Friday. So we'll talk about where we could see some of that rain and then talk more about the beautiful weekend weather that's on the way. And it may be the end of the line for a historic Coeur d'Alene building. The effort to try and save the Roosevelt Inn next. Plus, a step in the right direction when it comes to the safety of our drinking water. The new regulations being upheld by the EPA when it comes to PFAS levels. That's next. Connect with 4 News Now on KXLY+. Plus. Life's busy. Off is not an option. You need to be on. On time. On the go. On the call or just ready to play on. Life's waiting. Power on with Batteries Plus. 
Visit one of over 700 locations today. At Just Between Friends, you'll find everything you need for your family. It's all here. I've been shopping in JBF since my kids were little, and we just love it. It's the one-stop shop for everything that you need for your kids and your grandkids. I'm a first-time mom. I got a lot of clothing, shoes. I got a changing table. It's been a lot of fun. Such a blessing to be able to shop, sell, and save at JBF. This has been a game changer for our family. Just between friends at the Kootenai County Fairgrounds this weekend. How does free college or training sound? It's possible. Washington College Grant gives eligible people money for certificate programs, job training, apprenticeships, or college. Learn more at wagrant.org. That's wagrant.org. Man. I can take real good care of you. See? Works perfectly for you, right? At Craig Swap and Associates, we don't get paid until you win. One call, that's all. 509-999-9999. For over 30 years, we've been keeping you warm. Or cool, but now we are taking you to the next level of innovation. Fireplaces, sleek modern design. Or traditional electric, efficient and trendy. Lighting, permanent decorative year-long lighting providing security as well as beauty. These are just some of the ideas we are bringing to you for the next level at Holiday Heating, Cooling and Electric. We call it Holiday Innovation. Call us today. Hi, I'm Martita, award-winning interior designer and realtor, and I always stop by Consign Furniture and Jewelry first. For my interior design projects, there is inspiration everywhere. One-of-a-kind, budget-friendly pieces, all in 60,000 square feet. For my real estate clients, whether they want to buy or sell, I always encourage them to consign. They do all the heavy lifting while you sit back, relax, and collect your check. Consign Furniture and Jewelry, smart way to buy, easy way to sell. Batteries Plus has the national scale for all your power needs and a dedicated expert for the local support you want. Power on with Batteries Plus Business. Welcome back at 641. The Washington Department of Health announced it will move forward to adopt the EPA's new regulations for PFAS in drinking water systems. The state health department says it welcomes the new federal regulations. So far, 30 public water systems have detected PFAS levels greater than the state levels. That does not include private wells in the West Plains neighborhood. The state health department says the EPA's new regulations are more strict and protective to human health. And in your weather, we will see some cl building clouds throughout the day. We will have a chance late tonight then to see a little bit of rain, but not much because we are warming up and drying out this weekend. A historic building in Coeur d'Alene could likely be in its final chapter. The owners of the Roosevelt Inn are in the process of selling the 119-year-old building, a former schoolhouse converted into a boutique hotel. John and Tina Huff have operated the building since 1999. They say they've loved running the inn and the people they've come to meet, but they're ready to sell it and finally retire. This is a big venture. It is yeah, a big This isn't somebody's yeah. house of four bedrooms, you know. Yeah. We're a boutique hotel. We have 14 suites in this place, plus a meeting and conference facility. It's, and we've enjoyed it, but now we're to the point where it's... It's, it's not as enjoyable as it was. It's a $3 million property, and the most prominent buyer happens to be a developer out of western Washington who will likely demolish the building and build new housing. A petition to save it from being destroyed is making the rounds online. Because the building isn't on the preservation list, the city says there's not much it can do. Oh, such a cool building. So cool. Thanks so much for joining us. It's now 643. If you are looking to score a deal on some items for your family, then look no further than the Kootenai County Fairgrounds this weekend. Allison Martinez is live there this morning. You can get your kids toys of all kinds without breaking the bank. I'm sharing all the details you need coming up on Good Morning Northwest. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Experience the thunderous excitement as 40 lucky winners walk away with up to $10,000 in cash and extra play cash prizes. Winners are announced at the Coeur d'Alene Casino on Saturday, April 27th at 7 p.m. You must be present to win. Can I help you? Yeah, my car was dirty. I was just going to clean my window. Sure, but that'll be a dollar. To use the squeegee? Yep. Ridiculous, right? You know what else doesn't make sense? Some people are still paying for their checking accounts. Some places it's 12 bucks a month. 
At P1FCU, we believe some things should just be free, like our Ascent checking, where you can earn 3.5% in dividends. Open your account at p1fcu.org slash free. Thursday, Kirsten Dunn and her new movie, Civil War. So how are you doing? Well, listen, Kelly, I also have a child, and I don't leave my home. <laughs> this is the best thing on the planet Earth. <laughs> Watch Kelly today at 4 and 4 News Now at 5. Have you worked or enjoyed the outdoors in Lincoln County before 2014? You may have been exposed to harmful Libby Amphibole asbestos. Get your free asbestos health screening today. Don't wait. Early detection is key. Contact the CARD Clinic at LibbyAsbestos.org. Support low-income, at-risk youth by investing in their future. Join me, Molly Allen, along with Ken Witter and special guest speaker Levi Horn for the annual Northeast Youth Center's Building Brighter Futures fundraiser. All children deserve a safe place to be a kid. At the Northeast Youth Center, the staff provides a positive, secure, engaging environment for kids to thrive. Join us to learn more about the Northeast Youth Center. My daughter is Andrea, and I'm showing up in her life because I show up in mine. Forgiveness is, you know, she trusts me, and I forgive myself for choosing drugs. I've been in long-term recovery since 2519. The Native Treatment Center gave me that spiritual connection to where I can have a healthy life and recover. Other people show me forgiveness by supporting me for who I am. One word can change the story. My treatment story starts with forgiveness. Experience the thunderous excitement as 40 lucky winners walk away with up to $10,000 in cash and extra play cash prizes. Winners are announced at the Coeur d'Alene Casino on Saturday, April 27th at 7 p.m. You must be present to win. 4 News Now is brought to you by STCU Best of Broadway. Welcome back. The time is now 646. Buying all the things for your growing family can be expensive. Mm -hmm. And that's why one company operates the ultimate garage sale, selling gently used items for kids. And some new ones, too. And the annual Just Between Friends North Idaho sale is happening this weekend. 4 News Now's Allison Martinez live sharing what you need to know before you get going. Good morning, I'm here at the Kootenai County Fairgrounds and 4th of July, that's a holiday that's coming up very soon, but you may want to dress your kids in the finest fashions for the holiday, but by the time the next 4th of July holiday comes around, they're going to outgrow these. So this is the perfect opportunity to get all of those clothing pieces and more. I'm joined by Tiana, who is the owner of Just Between Friends this morning. Tell us a little bit about the advantage of shopping at a sale like this as opposed to anywhere else. Uh, Just Between Friends is a one-stop shop where you can find all the things you need for all the sizes and kids grow so fast you don't have to break the bank to uh, buy these clothes. Yeah, definitely. And you guys have such a huge variety here. We can only show you so much, but there are just rows and rows of clothing of all kinds. Um, talk a little bit about just the depth you guys have. Uh, well, we go infant through tween and then we also have maternity items. Um, it's our spring summer sale, so most of the clothes will be in that uh, category. Mm -hmm. We do have long sleeves and pants still, but but shorts, tank tops, swimsuits, uh, all of that will be here. Yeah, and the prices are most definitely right. I mean, just looking right here next to me, I'm seeing $4, $2, $5, just some really, really great deals here. And you can join in on all the fun starting tomorrow. The sale starts tomorrow and runs through Sunday, and tickets are just $3 and free on Sunday. Correct, at $3 cash admission at the door, and then we take cards for all the merchandise purchases. Amazing, well thank you so much for being with us this morning. Back to you guys in the studio. I can't imagine, like the just amount of stuff that she showed up Incredible. this morning. It's just uh, crazy. Uh, here is your live look this morning. Temperatures, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Mm -hmm. But we don't see that sun like we had. We've been spoiled with it. We have. We got spoiled for a couple of days. We'll have a little sun this morning, and then we're going to be clouding over even more heading into the evening. So, hey, some coffee, maybe a few cookies. I don't have any Girl Scout cookies left in my house. That's for sure. For this afternoon, 61 degrees, mostly cloudy. Expect the cloudiness to become more and more throughout the day. And then for this evening, will be in the middle 40s so it is going to be quite a jump in many areas with that thick cloud cover and eventually warmer air 
moving in for the weekend. Now there also will be a chance for a shower or two to come along for the ride. Let's begin with this front that moves in overnight. We'll see winds begin to pick up and this is very early Friday morning or late Thursday night around Lewiston and into the Palouse region. We'll have a chance for a little bit of much needed rain and maybe even a few rumbles of thunder to come through. Then on Friday, there will be some light showers that track their way to the north, potentially even through Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, but our overall chances for wet weather are only about 20%. You head further south to places like Moscow, Lewiston, into the Blue Mountains and into north central Idaho. It's more like 40 to 50%, especially as we head into the second half of Friday, where we could once again have a few thunderstorms in that part of the inland northwest. But around Spokane, around Coeur d'Alene and north to the Canada border, it will be largely a quiet Friday. Then we get into the weekend. The storm causing all of this tracks to the south. We're in between systems for the weekend and we are going to warm up very, very quickly as a result, but we're not going to be warming up for long. So 70s, beautiful weather just in time for the weekend, last through Sunday, and then as soon as we get into the work week, we start cooling off back down to the 50s and we start looking for some more showers to get back into the picture. Yeah, we couldn't have asked for better timing on that. No, the timing oh is uh, perfect. So, <laughs> hey, Let's hope it stays that way. Can't <laughs> yeah. wait. It is now 10 minutes before the hour. Your morning sprint is coming up next. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. The largest Spokane Speed and Custom Show ever returns April 12th through 14th. Sate Bistro Coeur d'Alene's culinary extravaganza of American fusion dining. From our extensive wine cellar to our unforgettably decadent menu, we'll move your experience beyond ordinary to the extraordinary. Sate Bistro, just off the 4th Street exit in Coeur d'Alene. It's that time of year to book your roofing project now, before the summer rush hits. At McVay Brothers Roofing, Siding, and Windows. And when you purchase a new certainty roof today, you'll get a 5-star lifetime material and labor warranty upgrade for free. Risky's World. Come on, let's explore. That's made with real salmon. Look what I found. Little soups for cats. There's the delicious taste of tuna we treasure. Mmm, definitely coming back tomorrow. Tomorrow. Frisky's. Always more to explore. Want to drive? Really? Most of us agree our roads are safer when we put away our phones. But we still have some people to reach. So spread the message. Okay. And set the example. Because that's how we make the road a safer place for you and your loved ones. Together, we get there. Want to instantly look more attractive years younger? The solution is whiter teeth. But you love coffee, tea, wine, or smoking, and all of them stain your teeth and make them yellow. It's time you discovered power swabs. One friend was like, your teeth look like really white. Did you do anything to it? And I was like, I did. <laughs> I did power swabs. Power swabs are guaranteed to whiten your teeth up to two shades after the first five minute application. Better yet, after a week, your teeth will be an average of six shades whiter. Power swabs are easier on your gums and cause less sensitivity. I've used strips and trays and they both gave me really sensitive teeth. With the power swabs, I've been using them for a week and I had hot coffee this morning and ice cream last night and no problems. <laughs> Over 500,000 people have already seen incredible results. Now it's your turn to get started with power swabs. I like my smile. This is a power swab smile. Call or go online to receive 50% off. You'll also receive the Stain Out Quick Stick absolutely free. Plus get free shipping. Sate Bistro Coeur d'Alene's culinary extravaganza of American fusion dining. From our extensive wine cellar to our unforgettably decadent menu, we'll move your experience beyond ordinary to the extraordinary. Sate Bistro, just off the 4th Street exit in Coeur d'Alene. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now. This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. Time right now is 6.53. Time to get you ready to take on your Thursday in the morning sprint. The trial for Chad Daybell, the alleged doomsday cult leader, is underway in Boise. Sydney Charles has the details. Allison Martinez is live this morning sharing the big deals families can score at the Kootenai County Fairgrounds this weekend. Uh, but first, let's get to Matt Gray filling in for Mark, talking about a warming trend coming up in the forecast. That's right. It's going to keep on getting warmer over the next couple of days, although we're going to stall out a little. Not going to be much warmer than it was yesterday, but we'll still get up into the low and middle 60s 
despite the cloudy weather. There will be a small chance for some showers on Friday, and then we get sunny and we get even warmer heading into the weekend with 70s on tap. Breaking news this morning, a large avalanche in Austria killed two people near a ski resort this morning. According to the Associated Press, at least two people have been rescued. A major rescue operation is now underway to find more people who are buried underneath the snow. An 18-year-old Coeur d'Alene man accused of pledging allegiance to ISIS and attempting to provide resources to the terrorist group pleaded not guilty. In his first court appearance, we learned the FBI investigated Alexander Mercurio more than a year before his arrest. According to an affidavit, when Mercurio was 17, agents began monitoring conversations they say he was having on a school-issued laptop. Coeur d'Alene Public Schools confirmed with 4 News Now, Mercurio was an online student at Lake City High School at the time and was issued a Chromebook. The affidavit states, the FBI found files confirming Mercurio's commitment to ISIS and its ideology. In an email, the Coeur d'Alene School District told 4 News Now it was aware of the investigation. You can read the district's full statement on KXLY.com. The judge presiding over the University of Idaho murders case decided not to make any rulings at yesterday's hearing. Brian Koberger's defense team ordered a phone survey of 400 people in Lataw County, arguing it's necessary to find out the poss a possibility of an impartial jury in the county or if the trial needs to be moved. But the prosecutor argued the questions in the survey could make it difficult to find that impartial jury in the county. Judge John Judge said he needs time to consider whether the survey violated the gag order in this case. He'll hear a motion to change the venue on June 27th. New details about a North Idaho surgeon accused of recording his employees in a staff bathroom without their knowledge. He's accused of recording people in his home as well, including nine children. Dr. Spencer Greendike faces eight felony charges of video voyeurism and sexual exploitation of a child. Prosecutors say he recorded in the bathroom at his practice and also mentioned they have evidence from his Post Falls home. You can read our coverage on this story in more detail on KXLY.com. The trial for a doomsday cult leader continues in Idaho. Chad Daybell is facing three charges of first-degree murder. He is accused of murdering his first wife, Tammy, in 2019. Daybell is also charged in the deaths of 16-year-old Tylee Ryan and 7-year-old J.J. Vallow, the children of Lori Vallow Daybell, who he met at a religious conference in 2018. Prosecutors say the two began sharing apocalyptic beliefs and labeled anyone who stood in their way as dark spirits or zombies. High capacity magazines could return to store shelves in Washington. A Cowlitz County Superior Court judge recently ruled the state's ban on magazines with more than 10 rounds of ammunition is unconstitutional. The Attorney General quickly filed an emergency appeal with the state Supreme Court to keep the law in effect while the case plays out in court. New legislation proposed by Representative Kathy McMorris Rogers aims to provide solutions to protect kids online and ensure Americans data privacy. A hearing set to take place next Wednesday to discuss a plan to revamp online regulations. One proposal gaining attention in our community is COSA, which stands for Kids Online Safety Act. It recommends regulation to keep kids 13 and under from being targeted online. Several city leaders are calling on McMorris Rogers to make COSA an individual initiative not wrapped up in other legislation. The Just Between Friends sale is back at the Kootenai County Fairgrounds this weekend. It all starts tomorrow at 9 a.m., continues into Saturday, and then Sunday there will be free admission and a lot of items will be half off. We have strollers, clothes for all ages of kids, toys, shoes, everything that you can imagine is all here for a great deal. Admission is only $3. For more information on what you need to attend, you can head over to our website, kxly.com. Big announcement, your Best of Broadway shows are announced in Spokane. Sales for the 24-25 season go live at 10 this morning. Check it out on KXLY. At 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. What have you got against tomatoes? I don't know how anybody can eat those things. <sighs> Want free college or career training? It's possible. For over 
over 30 years, we've been keeping you warm. Or cool, but now we are taking you to the next level of innovation. Fireplaces, sleek modern design, or traditional electric, efficient and trendy. Lighting, permanent, decorative, year-long lighting, providing security as well as beauty. These are just some of the ideas we are bringing to you for the next level at Holiday Heating, Cooling, and Electric. We call it Holiday Innovation. Call us today. All right, you can already see that the uh, clouds kind of already starting to obscure the sun a little bit this morning, not long after it has come up. So we'll see mostly cloudy skies for the next couple of days, but then the weekend comes and it is beautiful. 70 Saturday and Sunday won't last long, never does in the springtime. We'll be back down to the 50s with showers to start next work week. Hey, thanks so much for deciding to kick off your morning with us right here on Good Morning Northwest. Yeah, we hope you can stick around. We'll bring you live updates throughout the morning, throughout Good Morning America. GMA starts right now. Hope you have a great Thursday.